Hand hygiene is another term for hand washing, including antiseptic hand washing, alcohol-based hand rub, or surgical hand hygiene. Hand hygiene is a process of cleansing the hands and lowering the risk of infection. The World Health Organization recommends the five movements for hand hygiene. They include before patient contact, before an aseptic task, after body fluid exposure, after patient contact, and after contact with patient surroundings. In between patient contact or equipment, hand hygiene should be maintained. Place the pads of the first two fingers on the groove below the radius. Measuring the pulse identifies the rate, rhythm and strength. Palpate the radial pulse for 30 seconds if regularity is constant. Respiration can also be identified. Place the arm against the chest and feel for rise and fall. Body temperature alterations can indicate patients at risk for infection or hypohypothermia. The acceptable core temperature is ranging from 36 to 38 degrees Celsius. Today we are using a Taipanic thermometer to record cat's core temperature. Blood pressure is the force on the wall of the artery by the pulsing blood under pressure from the heart. Blood pressure is most accurately recorded using a mercury spigmo manometer. To take blood pressure, the patient should be comfortably sitting and laying down. The cuff of the spigma is placed on the upper arm and centered above the brachial artery. With the first two fingers, place on the radial pulse. Close the valve on the bulb and inflate cuff until the radial pulse is no longer felt. Take note of this, for this is the baseline measurement. Deflate the cuff and find and place the stethoscope over the brachial artery and begin to inflate the cuff. While listening to the brachial artery, inflate until you are 30 millimeters of mercury above baseline measurement. There should be no pulse heard. Slowly loosen the pressure bulb valve and allow needle to fall at a range of 2 to 3 millimeters. Note the point of the manometer when first clear sound is heard. This is the systolic reading. Continue to deflate cuff gradually, noting point of which sound disappears. This is the diastolic reading. Continue to deflate at a more rapid rate. 